Shalom. In this episode of Five Small Stones, episode 11, we're going to begin a new topic. And that topic is going to be on Bible geography. So how does that help us in terms of our Bible understanding? How does it enhance and, 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 and expand upon our understanding of God's word? The Greek word for geography is geographia, and it's the Earth's description, and, and it's more than maps, more than the land. It's the plants, it's the weather, and it's even the people and even their lives. Now, let's take a look at another location in geography. So I'm going to take you to a location in central Israel, and in a short just a few seconds here, you're going to see a brown patch on the top and a brown patch on the bottom. That's actually Mount Ebal and Mount Gerizim. And right in between those two mountains in the valley is the modern Palestinian city of Nablus. And right in the center of the city is the archaeological park that they have there for the ancient city of Shechem. You're looking at the wall of ancient Shechem that's dated to the Middle Bronze period, 2100 to 1550 BC. But there was an earlier settlement there. The earliest archaeological findings we have go back to the Keolitic period, 4500 to 3000 BC. But the Canaanites were there, and their first major city was dated to 1900 BC. You're actually looking at a scene from that archaeological park. You're seeing a number of people visiting the actual fortress temple that the Canaanites actually built. You can actually find this in the Bible. I believe it's in Judges 9. And this was a massive affair with two towers on either side of the main door. And then that porch, probably with an altar of sacrifice there right out the main door. Now, Shechem happens to be in 57 verses in the Old Testament. It's an important city became the capital city of Israel after the revolt and the civil war between uh, Solomon's son Rehoboam and Jeroboam. And it's a strategic location for trade. You can see that purple dot there, that's Shechem, and you can see the roadways that come in and out of that city. Now, as we go into the New Testament, it's probably the Samaritan village or city of Sikar, and finally, Sikar, Shechem, totally destroyed in 70 AD. So we're taking a look at possibly what Shechem may have looked like in biblical times. And we ask ourselves the question, what's important about Shechem? How does God use it to proclaim his truth? What are we missing since this is not our land? It's not our geography. So come with me to Haran. Come with me to Haran in 2091 BC. Iran is located in ancient Babylon. We're actually taking a look at mud bricks that are probably dated to Abraham's day. He would have been here in 2091 BC. And it just so happens for Abraham, something extraordinary happens to him at Haran. God speaks to him. Now the Lord said to Abraham, go forth from your country and from your relatives and from your father's house to the lands which I will show you, and I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, and so, you shall be, and so you shall be a blessing. And I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth will be blessed. So we have this promise, we have these promises of God that promises him a place, promises him a people, promises him a position, a position in all history, and a purpose that through him, through his seed, all of the families of the earth will be blessed. So Abraham and Sarah and his nephew Lot and others from Haran leave Haran. They travel on the main trade routes from Haran, probably down to Damascus. From Damascus, probably headed south along the King's Highway and crossed the Jordan River and came to the city that we're speaking about, Shechem. And we read about that in Genesis 12, four through six. The Lord appeared to Abram and said to your descendants, I will give this land. And so he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him and appeared to him 
at Shechem. So Shechem is the first city that Abraham comes to. And here God promises him the land. Will God continue to use Shechem like he just did to Abraham? We're going to have to wait and see on this. This is amazing stuff. I'm going to see you in episode 12. Until then, shalom.